Well, hello there, strangers. Yeah, it's been a while since I did a haul. And today is July the 13th. Um, it's a Saturday. And I did a Walmart pick, pickup um, order. And spent about, what was it? Close to 400 bucks. But as I was noticing in that order, I also got me a vacuum cleaner. So that you take a hundred from that, and this is what the groceries cost. But but it's um, it's a big haul because we were running low on a lot of things and needed to get the pantry caught up and the freezer caught up and all those things. So let's turn around and take a look. What we have today. It's uh, from here all the way to here. And what we have today, let's start over here. So <clears throat> we have some soup up top here. I like Progresso soup. And that's the wedding Italian wedding soup. It's very good. I have to fight over that for my family though because they like it too. But we have some tuna. I'm going to make some tuna salad today, this week. Uh, down here, we have Cheez-It snacks to stock up the snack pantry again. We have green beans. We have some frozen green beans back there. We're going to use those for our uh, meal prep this week. In the back there, I've been getting pineapples every week. And last week, they didn't have pineapples uh, available. So... I got one this week, but it's a little tiny one. I guess people, a lot of people are realizing, because you can get a pineapple, they're usually bigger than that. Uh, normally it's pretty big, and I cut it up, and we eat it for the week, and they're less than two bucks. So pineapples are still pretty reasonable. I, I That's what I feel. I think that's a pretty good deal. But they're getting smaller and smaller and harder to find. So <laughs> just, just an FYI. Back here we have our uh, some um, hash brown patties that I put in, I do for breakfast sometimes. Uh, you can put them in the air fryer and toast them up and they're quite tasty. And these are reasonably priced also. They're like two bucks for one container so and and they're usually hard to find too it actually it's more like three three dollars because it's like 290 or something like that for one pack and there's quite as you can see there's quite a bit in the pack so that's another alternative for breakfast have some um Belvita breakfast bars uh biscuits they call them and I buy these rarely because they're very <laughs> yummy and you can't stop eating them when you get them. I got some last week uh, as a substitute because I couldn't, they didn't have my Fig Newton set I like to get uh, for us to have and then for my hubby's lunch. But they had them this week. So we have the Fig Newtons here that I get uh, and I put those in his lunch and we have these little thingies <laughs> my son saw them in the pantry the other day and he was like that's old school from when I was in school when I used to take lunches I'm like yeah they're old <laughs> but I put put them in for your dad for your dad to have some snacks in his lunch box we have uh, the pepperoni pizza snacks here um, that my family like to have for lunch or something sometimes then we have uh some cucumbers that i'm gonna slice those up and have those ready for snacks as well as some celery celery sticks um these little things are really good too they're low in calories as well um but these are seafood snacks. They're just like little crab, imitation crab things. And you can have those. Squeeze a lemon on top. Yummy, yummy snack. Low calorie, no fat. Back here we have the uh, Dunkin' Donuts 
creamer for the coffee drinkers and some Tyson chicken patties those are for lunch or whatever we have some bell pepper here the red and I slice these up and have them uh, available for snacking as well or I put them in salads when I make salads below there we have paper plates and there's some cheese we have cheese for sandwiches and cheese for me to slice up for charcuterie boards we have uh, turkey breasts from the deli for sandwiches and turkey ground turkey because I'm making spaghetti this week for meals we have two packs of those and a little and one of the roll ones as well and cheese over here shredded cheese for salads or to put on the um, spaghetti when I make the spaghetti then we have pepperoni uh, it's turkey pepperoni that I put on charcuterie boards for, for snacking and some uh, applewood smoked turkey for my sandwiches as well then we have uh, Frank's is on deck I love hot sauce and I put hot sauce on just about everything my husband thinks it's crazy but I put it on just about everything but um, then we have some chicken dipping stuff for say, chicken sandwiches sauce for the spaghetti that I'm making one uh, onion that I slice up to go with the peppers and we can use it on salad and you know for snacking as well I I eat I eat onions for snacks too I like onions <laughs> uh, we have honey grams to put in hubby's lunch back here this is my white vinegar white wine vinegar I use white wine vinegar and olive oil and a little bit of lemon on salads instead of regular salad dressing it's quite yummy as well and it's lower in calories than regular bottled <laughs> ranch dressing we have uh, 18 count eggs we have some ketchup we have Dukes on deck I got two of those because they didn't have the really big one that I get and um, <clears throat> I keep keep them in the pantry so that they won't run out um, we have some home style ranch dressing which is way better than Hidden Valley if you haven't tried this stuff yet what are you doing this stuff is it's fresher um, it's refrigerated in the grocery store so you're not gonna find it where the regular is but that's how you know it's fresh because you can taste and see the ingredients in it and it has real vegetables in it very tasty and it does after you eat after you eat this you can't go back to Hidden Valley because Hidden Valley is nasty <laughs> when you eat this um, we have Thomas egg uh, Thomas muffins they're not egg muffins they're just muffins um, English style muffins that we use for breakfast and then we have two loaves of bread and some Sara Lee bread here um, turn it around so you can see the Sara Lee that's the kind that's the good kind good thick my son likes that then we have some salad of course some spring mix for salads and some more progressive progresso soup on deck we have some almonds here with in dark chocolate for my sweet tooth when I want that can only eat a handful <laughs> we have yellow rice my hubby's favorite some garden vegetable pasta which I use this and I make um, pasta salad um, I you can use the turkey pepperoni and the vegetables in there and stuff and I chop it up and it's very yummy my family loves that that salad um, turkey sausage for breakfast and then we have this is something new Italian ice that I'm trying 
and uh, I got it in the watermelon flavor but I want to see how um, that is for like evenings after you know when you want to have something and sometimes I usually eat fruit but I want to try to see how that is we have the banana bread for the guys because I'm not baking in this heat I'm not putting it on my oven <laughs> we have a vegetable medley that I use in salads of course and some navel oranges and we have the cosmic those are some good apples there cosmic apples if you put those in your crisper in the refrigerator and slice them up yummy they're very good and last but not least we have of course water on deck we get water every week and some sparkling water this is very good this is a Walmart brand but sparkling water and it's very yummy family a family favorite so here we have it that's our haul and I do apologize I haven't been very good at posting my videos I have a lot of stuff in the chamber to post but uh, haven't given it to my editor to post it but he will be posting probably tonight or tomorrow because I did this haul and he likes to post my hauls so like comment and subscribe please share this video try to get my numbers up but we're still on our health kick well not health kick we're still eating better we're changing our lifestyle to eating better I don't want to say diet or health kick because it's it's a lifetime thing now we are in our 60s and we got to take better care of our body so here we are and we put we uh, walk every other day and and keep ourselves accountable to you so again we love you and there's nothing you can do about it thank you for watching hello hello we're back at our spot hey y'all just made a lap now we're on our way back because it's hot yes it's hot the sun's not out but it's hot it's humid i think that's what gets me more is the wetness of it all now nah, it's, it's the heat for me <laughs> it's the heat but uh it's about 1 15 or no 1 30 something so down and uh we're getting our steps in had a little chat with neighbors and i'm it's... cooking meals today Yay. a lot going on Yay, cooking cooking leads <laughs> to eating yeah. yeah, so um put up a coffee video uh, yesterday, I guess, on Monday night. Check that out. Uh, it's cool. It's, it's a cool thing. And that mod coffee, I, I tried to put a link in the in the description uh, so you could try it out. It's very good. It's good, and the decaf is de decaf says that it doesn't keep you up all night if you are so inclined. And I put it to a test. Sunday, I had a cup of coffee about, what, 7 or 8 o'clock, and I'm a person that can't drink coffee at night, and I had a cup, and it is delicious. I drink it all the time, and it doesn't make me jittery or anything like that, so. So when it says decaf, it's really low, though, in caffeine. Now, on the other hand, if you need a jolt in the morning, that's not the one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not the one. My Cafe Postello is what you need. Yeah. Cafe Bustello for sure, um, and you can and you can get that almost. I don't know, you know, out, out of the I state. I think it's a southern thing. It, 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 it may be a southern thing, but if you can get some Cafe Bustello, it's actually very very good. Uh, they actually make an instant espresso, which is not bad, which is pretty, which is pretty funny because you know instant coffee normally is booty. Nasty, but that instant coffee is really good, and I and I get that because sometimes when I get up later and stuff, and I just want to get a quick cup of coffee and not brew any um i do my the i've just got the cafe pastello and it's very good instant yeah i'm not funny. an instant coffee person no because instant coffee normally is awful <laughs> but awful. but it, it has to test yeah. and it gave me energy to 
get my work done this morning and get out here and walk. And I already cleaned up my kitchen from my cooking and all my stuff is in the oven, ready to go. Cooking leads to eating. And Mr. Willie's ready for my meals. I am. So, thank you guys. We gotta get her out from here because it's kind of noisy. We're sitting at the bus stop <laughs> on on a very busy street. Yeah, it's, it's embarrassing to have the bus stop. You have to go. No, no, no. We're just using your facility. <laughs> Always remember. Never forget. We, we love, love you, you and there is nothing, nothing you can do about, about it. it. We'll see you. Right.